What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can rank in any language that you want on Google, especially for local SEO. Now, why would you want to rank in another language, right? Well, for beginners, I live in Texas and there is a huge Hispanic community. And if my client is able to take on Spanish speaking clients, then why not go out and make these pages in Spanish rank them on the Google search engine in order to bring in more traffic, more leads for my client, right? Everybody is doing regular SEO, right? In English. So in order to stand out between all the other SEOs, you need to be able to rank content and pages in any language that a client would want or for yourself, right? So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on all the on-page optimizations that I do. And I'm actually going to rank this page by the end of this video. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, now we are in the back of the WordPress, right? We are in my client's WordPress site and I'm going to be taking you step by step how I actually optimize these pages in Spanish in order to get them rank in the Dallas, Texas area, right? Now this strategy is very effective, especially if your client can take on these Hispanic speaking patients right or clients if they have anyone that's bilingual or if your client is bilingual themselves then i would definitely recommend you to build out the spanish pages right and you can also upcharge for this service right if they want these spanish pages you can offer them as a extra package or you can simply target spanish businesses right that get a lot of hispanic clients now this doesn't only have to be for hispanics you can make it into any language that you want it really depends on the area that you live in right so this can work for any languages now what i do for the hispanic pages is i create a language subfolder we create this subfolder that has the slash es in it which is telling google that this whole page is targeting you know the Spanish language now there's a difference between a targeting another languages and targeting another country now this strategy is effective when you're only trying to target another language in you know for example we're in the United States we target both English and Spanish languages so if you are using a Spanish language or whatever other language you want to target you should create this language subfolder in order to properly categorize your Spanish pages, whatever other language you're trying to target. And I use Polylang for this. If you want to see that tutorial, I do have a video on my channel. Moving on, let's go back to my page. The way I figured out this keyword, I was searching through Ahrefs and I came across these two keywords, right? That could be great keywords for my client to target, right? So the first thing you want to do when you're evaluating how hard a keyword is to rank for is to first do your keyword research on whatever tool you're using to see the KB, the keyword difficulty, right? And then you want to actually go in the SERPs and do a search for this keyword, right? So if we scroll down, we can see that there's a MapQuest, Facebook, Yellow Pages. So we have directories in the top positions and a Facebook page. And then it looks like this is a Google website. So this is a free Google website that is ranking very highly on the first page. Looks like we have some actual clinics and then we have some more business directories. So if you have a lot of business directories on the first page, that's kind of a good sign to have because it means that you should be able to rank on the first page rather easily, right? So let's go into some of these websites and check out their content. And when you're doing a website analysis, you kind of want to see, you know, how many images are they using? You know, how much content is on the page? This looks very thin. And if I had to guess, I'm going to assume that they really not optimizing their header tags, right? These are very generic. Um, if you know Spanish, these are very generic, right? There's no keywords in here. So let's go back and Let's check out this one. All right, so this one looks a little bit better, but what they're doing here is they have half of their content in Spanish and then they have half of their content in English. So Google is trying very hard to understand whether this page is about Spanish or is it in English, right? 
and they are ranking for a Spanish keyword. But if I had to guess, if all of our content is in Spanish, we should be able to rank just as well on the first page, right? So let's go back. So now that we kind of saw some of our competitors and that there's really not much competition because of all the business directories, we should have a good idea of what type of optimizations we need to do. So let's get right into it. So I already have my focus keyword here. Let's go into edit with Elementor. And this is what I use to edit the actual pages, you know, just because it's really simple. It's a drag and drop and it makes life very simple. First of all, let me go ahead and insert a template that I like to use, you know, for kind of like city pages, but I'm going to just make it into its own page, right? This URL is going to be on its own. It's not going to, it's not going to be a child page simply because it's kind of going to be like a landing page, right? Let me go ahead and see if I can change this background picture. Go into styles, choose image. Uh, let's see if that works. All right, it, it worked. So first things first is we want to change the header one tag, right? And luckily I already have my header one here. So I'm just going to copy this and then let's go back and let's paste it into here. Now this is the H1, right? This is going to be your main keyword that you want to target, right? So we have our main keyword which is right here. And then right here, we just want to provide you know, something that's supporting our H1, right? Let me just go ahead and write something. All right, so I just wrote something really quick just to support that. And let's change the call to action to, it's just gonna say call us today, right? All right, so in this section, we're going to put a gallery. Let's go into a basic gallery and we're just going to include some pictures of the actual clinic, right? So let me go ahead and do that really quickly. All right, guys. So we added some pictures of the clinic, you know, just to make them feel more welcomed, more at home. And so they get an, and so they get an idea of what it looks like. And up here, we're going to put our header two tag, right? So your header two, you want to also be relevant to your main keyword. And if you can make it related to your H1 tag, right? So let's go ahead and copy and paste it. So we have another keyword right in here. And then let's go ahead and change this actual content. So this is actually in English and we have some content in Spanish right here. Go ahead and paste that in there. This button, let's go ahead and change it to, this just means learn more, right? Now let's go down to our services and this will be our H3, right? So let's go ahead, change it to an H3 and let's make it this, paste that in there, right? So next thing is, I'm probably going to change this into just a list format. Let's put these three columns and we're gonna put icons. Let's go to icon list and we're just going to list these services that we have. So let me do this really quick and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, now that we finished these services, what we're going to do next is interlink these to each of their service pages, at least the ones that we do have, right? This is going to boost the authority of this page by interlinking to these other pages that have more authority, right? So let's go ahead and link this page to its correct service page, right? We can go ahead and link back to our About Us page. Let's go and bold that. And then let's go ahead and scroll down. And let's also link back here. And I'm going to link out to another page that we built that is around the same topic, right? And then we have our social media here. And then we have our blogs, which are also in Spanish, right? This is pretty much it. All I have left is to add a video and luckily my client has plenty of videos. So let's go in here and choose the video widget. All right, so let's go ahead and embed the video. And that looks very big, so let's make it smaller. All right guys, so I embedded the video and now this should complete the page, right? Now this is not the most beautiful design page, right? The point of this is just to get it to rank. Let's go ahead and update this. And what's next is the actual SEO part of it. And for that, like I said earlier, I use rank math SEO. I just find it to be really simple. Now, if you are starting off with SEO, you probably want to go with Yoast. But if you're interested in this, go ahead and start using it. I, it is very useful and it does offer better schema than Yoast SEO does. So for this, we want to include our main keyword, which we have. So let's go ahead and optimize this a bit. All right, guys, so I finished with the 
meta title and meta description optimization. So we have our keyword right here in the title. We have our keyword again in the permalink or the URL. And then we also have our keyword in the meta description and we have a call to action, right? It says a free consultation of 15 minutes. Now this is going to get people to want to click on this listing, right? And then the most important part of your meta title and meta description is to have your keyword in the meta title, right? This is very important and probably one of the more crucial and critical steps that many companies forget to do, right? They don't optimize their meta title and their meta description. So let's go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and update it. Let's go ahead and copy this URL. Let's go ahead and open the page. All right, not too bad guys. Like I said, this is not designed the best as possible, but we really just need it to rank, right? So let's go ahead and go over to Google Search Console. And if you don't know what Google Search Console is, you might want to start now. It is a free tool that Google gives you in order to track your performance, track keywords, track pages, and you could submit your sitemap and a URL just to help it get it indexed much quicker. So we're about to try to get this URL indexed on Google, right? All right, so we already submitted it one time, but because I don't like to wait, I'm going to go ahead and request it a second time just to speed up the indexing process. Alrighty guys, I have sent it for indexation like three to four times. So let's go and check it out. Let's go over and copy this keyword that we targeted, right? Copy. Let's open up an incognito Google window. Let's go and search and let's see what's going on. <laughs> And as you can see, we are already ranking on the first page of Google. You can see it was 24 minutes ago. So that's how you do proper on-page optimization in Spanish, or you can apply the same strategy in any other language that you will like. And again, this strategy is if your client or yourself has any Hispanic any Spanish speaking clients, or you can change this into any other language that you might want to target, right? This goes to show you guys how important having your on page is, right? From your header tags, from your H2 tags, from your actual content, interlinking your pages, your URL structure, right? And the alt tag in these images are very important when you're doing on page in any language. So this strategy is very, very effective. So if you do have any clients in the US or outside of the US that want to target other languages, and if it makes sense for their business, you can offer this as an extra service, charge them more money, or go after these businesses that specifically focus or target, you know, Hispanic communities or any other communities that speak a different language in a certain country, right? Just make sure to structure your URL as I did right here. It's just the domain slash language, right? ES means that this, this part of the site, these pages are targeting the Spanish language, right? So if somebody goes on the Google search engine and has their language preference in, you know, Spanish or whatever it might be, Mandarin or any other language, right? Your pages are going to be able to show up as long as you're doing the same optimizations that you would do in English. There's just a lot less competition, which gives you the upper hand if you're able to do this. Now, if you don't know Spanish or any other language that you want to target, just go over to Fiverr. And for this example, you can go and type in Spanish translation and then you can just pay someone, right? So you can see these guys are professionals and this guy is charging five bucks, right? To translate any content up to a thousand words, right? Five bucks. So it's very affordable if you want to do this for your clients and you don't speak Spanish or whatever language it may be, right? Very affordable to do. And it's going to distinguish you from all the other SEOs, right? That only know how to do English SEO, but there's very, but there's a lot less competition in these other languages, which why, which why this can be very critical to your success and offering these extra services to businesses, right? So if you guys like this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you have any questions, if you want to see more of these and please subscribe to the channel guys i'm almost going to hit 150 and my goal is to hit 200 
by the end of next week. So much love and much appreciation for those who are subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.